Hey everyone, I'm back with another video here on extracting the Xbox games to play on the Xbox emulators. And the reason I'm making this video is because I learned a lot from the questions and comments in the previous video. Uh, there's, you know, people are still having difficulties and I've actually found easier ways to do this, which I want to share with you in this video here. I have here again, just at Radio Future in an ISO format. As you can see, the size is important. We have a 7.28 gigabyte file here. If you on the internet have found a file that is not this size, that is about maybe 2.4 or 2.3, try that one with XEMU and it may work because that one seems like it's already converted for you. That is something that some people have already mentioned. Their files work right away. There are many sites who have uploaded XISOs ready to work on XEMU. And XISOs also work on Xbox as well. If you still need the next steps, then this is what we're gonna get into. Some people find themselves extracting a zip and finding that they have a folder with files. Those files are XBE files that work with CXBX Reloaded, which is the other Xbox emulator. And it also works with the console itself if you have it modified. In my first video, what I did here was open up a PowerShell and run a command. We don't need this command. What we need to do is simply drag this in to this program. This little window pops up, you see work happening. And once it's done, you have your folder here with the XBE. Now, what is an XBE good for? Like I mentioned, CXBX reloaded. I'll take the emulator. I'll take this and drag it in. Emulator start, jump to my other screen. And here's the game starting. And that is because this ISO file does not work with this emulator. So you need to do this for this. Now we can end this one right here and let's just remove this ISO file. Now we'll bring in the second emulator XEMU. Now this one right here says, please insert an Xbox disc. I'm going to go load disc, extract XISO. We cannot load that XBE file. I'll go all files just to show you. Click on it, open it, reset it as usual. It does not read. What we're going to need to do here now is that we're going to call upon PowerShell. Holding left shift and right clicking on your mouse into the empty space in the folder, you should see open PowerShell window here. Windows 11 users, you will not see this right away. You're going to have to tell it to show you the extra context menu. I'm going to open PowerShell with PowerShell. We're going to want to run this command. We're going to call upon extract XISO and we want it to compress. We're going to make this an ISO. What I'll do here is I'll just double tap this so we could copy the file. Or sometimes you can just right click and go to rename so you could get this as well. However, you want to do this because we're going to use this same exact file name for the ISO that's coming up. I'm going to put a quotation here, just one. We're going to paste the name of the folder. And we're going to put another quotation. After this, hit enter and it's going to start doing its work. Time varies depending on your hardware. This could take longer. This could be faster. We're done here. And what happened now is that we have the ISO file that is now 2.33 gigabytes in size. What we'll do is we'll bring back the emulator, load disk, go back. So on my desktop, extract X ISO, reset. And the game launches. So you have now a way to play the game on CXBX Reloaded or XEMU. This is the simple, easy way to do it. This is all thanks to you guys from our previous video. Uh, I saw all the concerns and tips in the comment sections. Thanks for all of those. This helps me make this video easier for you guys in the future. For anybody stumbling upon this video now, they have an easier way to do this. Thanks for watching the video. Give the video a like if it helped you. 
share it with a friend if they need help with this as well subscribe for more more of this content let me know what you need help with in the comments below thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video